good question. I think it came from uh, Sean Bratches, who is a, a commercial uh, managing director. Um, I think he was the one really in, enforcing this. So his, uh, his career was at ESPN before. I think that's maybe what he was doing there. I, I found that to be very interesting. I never really had an opinion, to be very honest with you, between the two. But when we had a discussion with them, it makes perfect sense. It's like this is a, a, another point of information which might be more important than the other the other pieces of information might have when making a decision. But I really like the idea. And also, the funny thing is, when you look at the news, the websites or anything, the PR is all about the good stories about data. So you never hear about yeah. the bad ones. And that's what I find really interesting. And I remember reading an article about the use of data in football, so in soccer in Europe, and about someone called mm -hmm. Charles Reap, who is the British person who did analysis in the 1950s. And because he made some mistakes uh -huh. in his data insights and then driving insights recommendation from data, he ended up uh, leading a British teams to use the strategy to always put the goal straight to the forward and try to do less than three passes. And that was based on the data mistake. I found that very interesting. And, I, and there is a selection bias into the stories you can read. And that's why I feel like you don't know the dangers of being data driven because the people that get it wrong, you're never going to hear them. 